Okay, I do want to look at this because I, I'll be honest, I've been playing a little bit of Security Breach recently. Um, trying to relive when I cosplayed as Vanessa that one time to get Instagram likes. And I have actually... Security Breach is the first FNAF game I've ever played. And I played it like years and years ago for like 10 minutes. And I couldn't get out of the ball pit with the smiley face guy because I was too scared. But I've actually put like seven hours into it. I, I've actually got pretty far in it. But... The, I, so I went in the rabbit hole a little bit, the autistic rabbit hole for FNAF. And I found out that like, I saw this thing on TikTok where there's like, if you install this FNAF game from like a dodgy website, it has like a virus that can like hijack your phone. Do not play FNAF 2 until after you watch this video. Now, why shouldn't you play FNAF 2? Well, that Okay, to preface, you can play FNAF 2. It is totally safe to play like on Steam and on the App Store and stuff. This was people that basically didn't want to pay, so they downloaded it from like a dodgy pirate site. That's because of the Stingray virus, which we will be discussing in length in this video, explaining what it is, if you have it, and much, much more. So before I get into it, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's, but anyways, let me explain. Now, let's start back at the beginning, so we can better understand what exactly the Stingray virus is. In late 2014 and in early 2015, when FNAF 2 released, a fake version of FNAF 2 was released on a sketchy website called Aptoid, which provided a- I, I explained this yesterday during stream. Like, you- I need, like, people that will do the most to avoid paying anything, they actually need to be studied because they will be the people that, like, live on after everyone else. It is crazy. Like the tenacity that people have to do the most to avoid paying a single penny. But they were going to dodgy VPN websites like this, possibly get a get a malware Trojan virus on their phone just to avoid paying. I mean, how, mu how much is FNAF 2? How much is FNAF 2? It is five pounds. Five pounds. watching you after that you were in drama alert with Leafy is here. Best slob I love to watch. Pss. Are you going to make a main channel video on Killer Bean Game? You said best slob I love to watch. I'm assuming you meant slop, not slob. Am I going to do a main channel video on the Killer Bean Game? Oh yeah, when does that come out? When does that come out? Summer 2024? It's pro, it's like the end of summer. It is literally like the end of summer. ...a free version of the full game. The game was uploaded by the user Stingray, hence the name of the virus, followed by Arabic text, which supposedly translated means is watching. Upon downloading the game, the application would ask for access to all of your files. If you were to accept, you would be allowed to play the game. If not, you... Yeah, that's normal. It wants access to all your files just to be able to play FNAF 2. That's very normal. You wouldn't be able to play until you accept it. And you wouldn't be able to uninstall the app either as it would be permanently installed on your phone. So you were basically what already screwed. The game while working from home. Peak slop day. Based. Thank you, Paris Big Chin, for the 10. It would act relatively normal. You would progress through the nights normally, but that's until you... Scary virus, ah. Yeah, I keep seeing these kind of things on TikTok and it's so funny because you can tell everyone in the comments is like actually 10 years old. It's like, I, I saw this one of like, there was like a, look, I'll show you this one if I can find it. There was like a Hello Neighbor ripoff that had like a hack in it. Hang on, I'll see if I, I'll see if I can find it. I know it was on TikTok. Uh... Just see if I can find it. I need to wipe my browsing data. I'm so sick of opening that same TikTok over and over. Uh... Yeah, there's like so many creepy pastas that just like terrify kids. It's so genius. Like, look at this one. Yeah, I found one here. It's like random gameplay of Angry Neighbor. And Angry Neighbor was like this like bizarre clone of uh, like Hello Neighbor that you could get. And they're basically making it out that it's like a creepypasta where like if the guy catches you, there's like a virus that infects your whole...
and that's it. And then someone said, I scream so loud at the end. Like, like how, how is that scary? Someone said, why does he look like Daniel Larson? <laughs> Wait, does Caprio, he? when are you going to do some more thirst trap sim? Okay, out yeah, he does look a bit like Daniel Larson. Two. But yeah, plus it's, it's like IQ this whole trend I keep seeing on TikTok of like, it's so obviously bark, like just bark, a made up creepypasta, but this one might quietly. be real. Uh, with the stingray thing. You reach the end of the game. Once you reach this Android text jump scare. Screen where you see Herobrine for new gen. Oh, don't say that, bro. Don't say that. Uh, thank you, Zero, for the 10. Have you considered trying out Stalker Anomaly with Gamma or EFP? It is all free and has tons of mods. I, I do want to do a Stalker game at some point. I mean, like I said, as soon as uh, Darkwood's out, we're going to move over to uh, monthly videos. Because I'm noticing it, it's it's taking too long for me to get videos out on the main channel. Like, I keep being beaten by other guys. So... See the paycheck, you would be jump scared by this very unsettling with her chica, which would be followed by creepy music, which is actually the puppet's music box distorted. Please lower your volume as this may be unsettling to some viewers. Uh oh. 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 That's so scary. I like how he had the genius idea of putting a jump scare in a game primarily about jump scares. What if uh, Chica but has uh, no eyes? Oh my god, Chica but has no eyes? Or if you beat the game, some people also report that you were also going to be jump scared by a pale woman. Which is probably not true, but it's just speculation. God, I wish she could jump scare me, man. Yeah, damn. What the Upon receiving the jump scare, your data would be stolen and your device would reboot to factory settings. Some okay, that's kind of funny. Like, scammer actually gets scammed. You try to get a game for free, it just wipes everything. People also reported that you would have your data stolen as you played throughout the night, but either could be true. Now, that's just a basic rundown of what would happen, and footage of this supposed virus has started to blow up in popularity online, with many sharing it all over social media. Even though many people have speculated about the virus since its inception, more information and supposedly real footage, along with fan-made footage, has come out on YouTube. Waiting for the end of the video where the guy says I made it up. YouTube. Which which has made the virus become more popular as months gone on. So that brings me to ask some questions. Is it real? Why would you hide a jump scare in a game based around jump scares? Real? Do you have the virus and how do you avoid it? Well, let me explain because I'll answer all of those questions for you. This virus- Thank you, Mystical. Virus is in fact real and was recently just found. Now, was it the OG version that was found? Well, as of right now, we don't know, but for all we know, it could be. Many people have reported finding- Yeah, when, uh, People are saying W scam. Yeah, when Mystical gifts 20, I think it's like five, five dollars or something. So I'll still say thank you, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to give as much attention as I did before because I thought, because we actually, uh, we looked into, uh, we actually looked into, uh, We looked into how people gift memberships, and apparently if you're in the UK, you pay the worst amount. So if I gift subs, I pay £250, and then in America, it's like $200 or something. It just doesn't make any sense. They're, like YouTube basically thinks that the UK has the strongest economy in the whole world. APK downloads for this game on sketchy websites, which insinuates that people remade the game. But Reddit user at the random Baka Zero has reported that they have found code for the OG FNAF 2 Stingray, which shows us what would happen if you played. The first screenshot they provided shows us some properties for the game and some names which all point to it being real. The second screenshot shows that it actually had real FNAF 2 gameplay, along with showing that the game had updates that probably changed when your data got stolen. The third screenshot shows more more permissions, and the fourth screenshot shows what happened after you beat the game, showing that it locked the screen after collecting all data and uninstalled the device. So I'd like to formally apologize to all the people who watched my short about this because I said it was fake, but actually it is real. Anyways, if you oh, think unlucky. that's all of the information about this, there's still- 
I think that is kind of funny though. It just hijacks everything. More pointing towards it being real. Some more people on this same Reddit thread found the original link to an app that follows all the same specifications that the supposed Stingray virus had, which brings many people to believe that it is real. And the original app was in fact released in August of 2014, even before FNAF 2 released. This would make sense, especially if the game was later updated Soaps to be a direct the, port to FNAF 2. Now, is that possible? I don't know. So is this the Stingray virus? Well, it has the same name and ask for permission before you play it. So many people think it is, but until more research is done on this, we won't 100% know for sure. So for right now, someone in chat just said download it. For $10,000, I would download it. I would download it and play it on this stream. It's considered lost media, but that still brings up the question. Is the very popular FNAF 2 Stingray virus footage real? Well, simply put, no. This video explains it pretty well and debunks the footage fairly easily. So I'd recommend checking it out after this video. But if you don't want to do that, I'll explain it as well. Thank you, Cal, for the 20 months. Oh. Now, there is multiple things in the footage that point to it being fake, but the main thing is that it is footage stolen from another YouTube channel. And that's really it. That's basically the main thing that debunks this footage. Many people also explain that the virus is just a ransomware disguised as a fanatic. I'll keep sending you cents until you check out Zed Technician's game. Gemma, I'm sorry to say, bro, that is probably like, that is going to make me never want to check it out. <laughs> like, if you're going to spam sense in the chat and artificially bump your message when other people pay way more money and unfairly don't have their message shown as long as yours because you're using an exploit i i, I don't know what to tell you man like i'm not checking it out have to port and that when you play the game nothing actually happens you just have a black screen and your data gets stolen but as of yet that isn't confirmed so the game could either be a fnaf 2 port or just a ransomware that does nothing but until we do further research we won't know that now with all this information a new phenomenon has started to spread like wildfire in the fnaf community with that wait what was that one started to spread like wildfire Dude, I thought that bite of 87 thumbnail was something very different. FNAF. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm so cooked. Being FNAF ransomware videos, which many of these are inspired by the FNAF 2 Stingray virus. And due to this newfound popularity in these ransomware virus videos, please be careful when downloading or purchasing. Like he wants me to check out his video and he's paying in like the, the chocolate medals that you get when you're five years old. Interesting FNAF games, as I'm sure many ripoffs and copycats are going to actually recreate these viruses in the near future, if they haven't already. As of right now- Remember that whole exploit where like Bandai Namco were in big trouble because like every Dark Souls game had like a leak in it where people could inject stuff onto your computer if they joined your game? That was terrifying. Like I am basically just never touching- Dark Souls Online again after that. Now, many of these are hoaxes, but unlike the Stingray virus, some of them might be real. But only time will tell if Stingray is real or not. It could just be a creepypasta for all we know. But if you'd like me to talk about these other FNAF ransomware videos, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's, because it's a rabbit hole in of itself. Just like how the Stingray virus is, if there's one thing we can confirm about all of this, it's about- She'd say Online had a similar thing. What did it have? What people could get in your computer? what kind of virus Stingray is. The virus that Stingray uses is actually not called Stingray, but instead called Elite. Elite is a malicious program that can infect Android phones and can be disguised as popular apps, like how the FNAF 2 Stingray virus is. Prime Did you imagine like you download this, this APK, it hacks everything when you beat the game, and then it randomly starts sending SMS messages to everyone in your contacts just saying Golden Freddy over and over. Primarily what the virus does is it can steal and wipe all of your data, randomly send SMS messages to all of your contacts, and block all apps. Another very popular game, Angry Bird Transformers, was also the victim of this same virus. It was disguised as the real game that when downloaded... Imagine getting hacked by Angry Bird Transformers. It caused anyone who fell for the trap. I I'll be honest, like you, you deserve that. If you're hacking to play Angry Bird Transformers, like you, you deserve that. Of downloading the game to lose all data. It had the same features as the Stingray virus does, like asking for permissions and etc. So this elite virus can be found in other games, which even further proves the Pyro, existence of the Stingray the virus. Drama, and if so, are you gonna do a sloppy on it, Nico Ark? What's the yap dollar drama? I, I just keep seeing that dollar everywhere. The Chinese, the, the Chinese uh, AI text to speech thing. And it's personified as like an American dollar just spamming TikToks. It is like actual dead internet theory.
is possibly being real. So with that being said, how do you know if you have it and how do you keep safe from it? Well, firstly, if you paid for and bought FNAF 2 and downloaded- Angry Bird Transformers was broken. You could just set your phone's time and get free stuff. I mean, that's best. Download it off the App Store or Google Play Store, you're gonna be fine. But if you pirated it or downloaded it off a sketch- I love Yap Dollar. I keep seeing it on TikTok. I hate it so much. Why is, is it actually called Yap Dollar? I wanna see if it's actually called Yap Dollar. Oh my god, it's a real channel. It's it's actually a real channel. Right, let, let me finish website, this first. Well, I'd recommend deleting it because you could get a number of other dangerous viruses from doing that. But if you had to accept permissions to even play the game, then well, you probably wouldn't be watching this because you would have already been screwed. So please do not go and download sketchy website versions of FNAF 2. Why does he make it out that you could get hacked, but you could still watch this video? Like you couldn't watch this video anymore. He, he's acting like everyone that got hacked died. The game's almost 10 years old now, just buy it off of Steam or whatever you want to buy it on. So here are my final thoughts on the FNAF Thank you, Lizada, for the five. Stingray virus. It's real in a sense. The virus is something to look out for, and it is something that can cause extreme damage to your device if not careful. Over time, I'm sure we'll get some more news regarding Stingray, but until then, we all need to be safe. If you have any thoughts or want to make me aware of some information that I missed, make sure to comment them down below. Oh yeah, there's one last thing I forgot to mention to you guys. There is a a bunch of recreations of what the supposed Withered Chica jump scare is supposed to look like on YouTube and TikTok and etc. If you want to do some more research of Stingray yourself or just see what the Stingray virus supposedly looked like and what it supposedly did after you played, go check out the original video along with all the recreations of the Stingray virus. It's literally Chica. What is that one? Whoa! Whoa, what is that one though? Whoa! I mean, it's literally Chica without eyes. They're all very creepy and terrifying, and if you really don't want to sleep tonight, go and watch those. Uh, uh, I got... I got jump scared. <laughs>